Hey there, Adam from Buzzy here. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration about how we integrate Buzzy and IBM Watson and do some really cool stuff. So recently we've been creating some pretty cool instant business applications for things like store reporting or group travel and tons of other different stuff. One of the key value propositions of Buzzy is that you can create these applications really easily and quickly. And they integrated with things like chat and um, transactions and, and a whole bunch of stuff. So you can do everything in the one place. Now, one of the things that we've seen is you can come in and you can create uh, these applications that capture information. And obviously this works on both mobile phone and, and desktop. Um, obviously for this demo, I'm, I'm just working on, on desktop over here. So let's have a look over here. So if I was to, let's say, um, let's have a look at what that image is. So say I wanted to put a new warranty replacement, that looked pretty bad. Um, and I wanted to upload that. So this might be a, a person going out to the store, um, entering stuff so over here. So they've gone to store Z, um, etc. These forms are really quickly and easy to build with Buzzy. So when I submit that, we'll see that new item in the list over here. And again, these are incredibly customizable. You can put basic workflow around it and so on. So that's all well and good. One of the things that we've seen is that our customers have been out there and they, people are using this, these applications and they're just creating so much data. So things like IBM Watson become really interesting if there's a way to try and automate things like the reporting or analyzing that data to make it much more useful. So we started looking at IBM Watson and some of its capabilities. So we've done a really, really easy integration. And literally, if you go and you sign up to IBM Watson, it's really easy. You can literally get a trial account and then you can create um, a workspace with an application. So I used the conversation application and I went and I created a um, very basic uh, artificial intelligence repository that can do things like respond to greetings, um, and I, I did it in context of Buzzy, so you could point to, if you're looking at getting started, it might say, hey, you know what, go and check out these Buzzy templates. Um, or if you've got a complaint about something, it would try and help you. And again, it was very simple. I didn't spend a ton of time training it. And one of the interesting things for system integrators and independent solution vendors is that there's a lot of effort that you need to put in to be able to do to make these really valuable. So if you're working with customers or if you're a customer looking to do this, expect that it is going to take a fair bit of time to get that going. So um, what I wanted to do is just quickly, very quickly integrate Buzzy with this. And the easiest way that I could do that was use the Watson APIs and we integrated with our chat capability. So the chat capability allows teams to be able to communicate. And I thought, well, hey, wouldn't it be cool, at least for the first demo and first integration, if we could integrate that chat facility with IBM Watson. So we allow you to be able to, and again, you can see I've been chatting over here. I'll just go and I've got a Monica. And again, this is just very early days. So I've got a, and you can customize this in the settings I'll show to you in a second. So, I can go, um, you know, at Wilbur, and that's the name of my bot. I can just say, hi, let me just move this up there and I'll, um, I'll click send. So what we'll see now is that Watson will actually reply. So that's the, the bot Watson um, uh, replying. So um, I need help, uh, please. So then it's going to take it down the uh, the route that I've trained it, trained the bot. Oops, I actually didn't. So this is kind of a clunkiness that we've got at the moment. So I forgot to put out Wilbur over there because we could chat with the rest of the team as well. Um, I need help, please. So this will take it um, part of the decision tree. Um, so Watson will now come back and say, okay, let me try and get as much info, etc. Um, is the problem happening on the phone or the browser. So again, we're now dealing with the artificial intelligence engine that is interacting based on the conversation that I'm creating with it. And this is just a really, really simple example. And you know, what I wanted to enable people to do is to go out there and actually play with Watson, use Buzzy as a way to connect the dots between Watson and your customers. So as you know with Buzzy, you can literally go in and add users 
um, to a buzz over here. So I could come in and just add people. All you need is their email address. And you can see over here, I've got Wilbur. So you, you do need to add Wilbur at buzzy.buzz as, as, as an audience member for, for um, Watson to be able to play just in these early days. That's the way that it works. And then you also need to configure it to talk to your bot. So you can go onto IBM Watson and create your own bot. Um, one of the things you'll see is when you create um, the bot over here in the in the workplace in the workspace, um, you'll be able to um, you'll see that there's certain um, information. So, for example, um, over here, if I just view the details, you'll get there's a workspace ID which you'll need as a parameter when you configure Buzzy, um, and then once you go into the um, let's, let's click over here, let's go back. Once you go into the um, the actual um, bot itself. Um, oh wait, where was that? So back to workspaces. Um, if you go back to your your um, your Watson um, higher level up, um, at where all your applications are, you'll be able to see and you'll be able to get your login credentials. So it's really that's all you need to be able to integrate um, what, what your Watson bot that you've created and you've customized with your artificial intelligence and your bottled knowledge um, with Buzzy. So then to be able to get it to speak to Buzzy, um, you need to do two things. One, you need to go and you need to add um, Wilbur at Buzzy.buzz. So you'll just basically type here Wilbur at Wilbur at buzzy.buzz and that allows um, the chat engine to to talk to allow Watson to proxy through it and then if you go to settings for the buzz if you scroll down to advanced settings you'll be able to see that where you can give it a moniker and you can call this whatever you want you can call it Freddie Mary Watson um, and this will be used to trigger a call to the Watson conversation bot that you've created you'll put in your username or ID um, your password and then the workspace ID which we just looked at so that's literally it you can have multiple bots you can add another one to this you can click add IBM Watson credentials you can add another one so you could have Freddie Mary and those are talking to different artificial intelligence engines so that's really it um, so go and give it a try uh, you can go and create a new template uh, on Buzzy um, there's a ton of other uh, videos I've got out there to do that. It'll literally take you a couple of minutes to get your account set up on Buzzy, and then it'll take you, um, you know, a few minutes. There's some YouTube videos out there for uh, creating a Watson bot in about 10 minutes. So literally in, you know, in half an hour. Depending, obviously, the bot's not going to be that sophisticated. You can get this working and literally in the hands of customers if you wanted to do that. So have a play with it. Um, love to hear what you do with it on on Buzzy. Um, thanks for watching this and look forward to hearing back about um, all the cool things that you're doing with it. Um, just before I go, I'll say that we will also be doing further integration with things like the micro apps in Buzzy to be able to take this data and apply that to other Watson and Bluemix um, capabilities. So for example, like analytics. So imagine you could ask the bot to say, hey, how many stores did Sarah go to today? And it will be able to report on that. Um, there's so many cool different thing, ideas in the way that you can use this artificial intelligence to crunch the data, to respond quicker and faster to, to your users. Again, thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.